East Styles Friday Freestyles. Got the homie Mike Smith from the 305 about to get yeah, to these yeah. balls. On you. Yeah. Shut Uh. Fat boy with a bank roll. Got my city on my back like a trench coat. I tell them niggas stop hating, get rich, nigga. Mean mugs ain't no love for a bitch, nigga. When all my niggas sell dope, nigga, you ain't know. I told my labor I signed for a kilo. With no shirt, got my motherfucking belly out. It's my Smith, I'm that nigga you been hand by. Real talk, I'm a young savage. We don't need to argue with nigga, we toe tag him. Run around with Mo Fad and four dragons. Running with some nigga that mean it in Joe Jackson. Taking everything we want, bitch, we ain't axing. We ain't got shit for the low, bitch, we taxing. Let the yapa off be singing like Tony Braxton. Hit them with it, nigga, be flipping like gymnastics. Nigga, I'm a savage. Murder, murder, red rum. Fuck him, nigga, we gon' hustle till the feds come. Till the feds come. Yes, sir, I would talk how to get cash. Pop weight, put it on the block and flip fast. My pop one round, that made him nigga a loner. That hustler's ambition, that money making persona. Them jack boy posters, I carry them big clips. When I'm out for that cab, chasing them big chips. I need money for the paper, I strive and chasing faces. That's the only way I know to survive. Talking dead presidents, old nickels and dimes. And steady on the paper, chasing till the end of my time. I need the cash for that paper squeeze. And black, just for a chance to say that I got cheese to flash. And I don't find nothing funny when it comes to that money. Some pretty boys turn ugly when it comes to that money. So if you owe me, let me get it, nigga. Don't act funny. Send them gunners at your door for that donut money. Yeah, 10 toe down. I told the streets I was coming. I'm a young savage. I wouldn't change for nothing. Representing them niggas that really coming from nothing. Them other niggas is faking. I'm really standing for something. Counting out of this money. Lord know what I'm thinking. Reminiscing on times I had to sleep in my Lincoln. Doors locked, find my lap. Like nigga, fuck it. Wake up in the morning, take bird baths at Publix, and go and hit the booth. Nigga knew I would want it, they knew how bad I wanted, but they ain't know that I was homeless. Talking, living on the street, robbing niggas to eat, hitting nicks every week just to get on my feet. What you know about the struggle? I really come from the gutter. Product of my environment, ain't nothing around me but trouble. So how would you react if niggas ain't got your back? Hoes ain't acting right, and family ain't doing jack. Couple niggas you be around, they don't bust a couple head. Crackers say you involved, so them crackers on your trail. Streets say you involved, so. Niggas at your head, yeah, the world around town, a lot of niggas want you dead, but I'ma tell you how to play it, stay calm, don't snap, keep your ear to the street, stay on point, stay strapped, y'all. Yeah. You know I'm looking saying? at this song that I was just listening to, you, listening to before you got in here, I Got Plans. Yeah, yeah. And you say you want to be remembered as one of them spitters like Jada Kiss. Yeah, man, I want to go down, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's ill because... You know, me being from New York, I wouldn't expect to hear that from somebody from the South. Yeah, I really study this, though. Uh -huh. I really study. Like, I'm, a, I'm a fan of hip-hop. Yeah, real, now real, that's real, ill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Who yeah. would you say is uh, or are some of your inspirations? Oh, uh, man. Like, of course, you know what I'm saying? Trick Daddy, my favorite rapper of all uh -huh. time. You know what I'm saying? But, so that, that that's a given. But, you know, I, I, li I like like Jada Kiss. I yeah. like Scarface, Andre 3000. Like, I like... Right. I like, like them old, them yeah, old yeah. vibes, you know what I'm but saying? What's ill is that like a lot of young kids don't take the time to study the game or really yeah, understand yeah. the essence of hip hop. You yeah, know, those are the ones I feel like ain't gonna be around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a couple yeah. years from now, you know, I feel like all the, all the greats they knew. You got to know where where you been to know where you're going. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? You got to study and, and and know and know what's up and follow. You know, you know they laid down a blueprint for real, for real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You can learn and take something from. Good or bad, you mm -hmm. know, something for for what the OGs laid down. I, I'm just a fan of the whole hip hop music, you know what I'm saying? Who do you listen to now when you're riding around? Besides your own stuff, or do you only listen to your own stuff? Nah, I, I rarely listen to my music. For real? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. more listening to, you know, what's going on, really. But really, like on, 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 on the everyday, I'm listening to old music. I don't, I don't listen to. Like what? Now. Like I'm listening to. to Trick Daddy, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? I'm, to be honest with you, you know, I'm y'all might go crazy on me, but I'm just not getting into Nas oh, what? and all that. Yeah, I, I was yeah. never really like crazy on Nas. Yeah, yeah. And but you know, a lot of stuff, you know, when I was younger, you know, it's making more sense to me now. Yeah. I guess he was rapping over my head a little bit when I was yeah, younger. Yeah. So now a lot of stuff, you know, making sense, you know what I'm saying? The stuff he be saying. You just you know, to understand and appreciate more. You appreciate it more. Because the shit he was spitting was so deep. Yeah, you you feel it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I listen to a lot of old stuff like that, man. I'm a, I'm a big, big Jada Kiss fan. I like Mano. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I listen to Mano, Uncle Murder. I listen to a lot of East Coast stuff. 
But I listen to the crib too, JT Money. Like mm-hmm. I listen to a lot of old stuff. You know. What Have I mean? you ever got to connect with any of those artists you named? Like besides Drake and those like Jada Kiss, Mano, Uncle Mario. Nah, man, I, well, I, I met know. Mano last time I came to New York. Uh-huh. You know, cause uh, I I was with Trick and Trick did uh, the Wildin' Out. Okay, okay. And, and Mano was there. And he, cause I guess they did two episodes. Yeah, that yeah. Day and He was on one of the episodes, so I got a chance to meet him. And um, you know, I ain't really top it up with him like yeah, that, yeah. but we met. You know, so well, I set dope. that up, man. Yeah, yeah, it was dope, man. Well, I'm big fans, man. All these guys, man, who who been putting in that work. That's you know ill man? because I feel like maybe it's just me, or I, maybe it's just a New York mentality. Yeah. That, you know, you think down south don't really fuck with New York like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't and fuck they, with they, the artists. They, they think it's York. vice versa, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but man. Well, I feel like we fuck with more down south music than down south fuck with nah, nah, no shit. Yeah, nah, yeah, 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 nah, yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely, you know, because it, it's really like if you're not really into music, yeah. like if you from down south, you don't think you really going to. Rock with like the New York like music like a real hardcore yeah, New yeah. York sounding song. You got to be really into music like somebody like me. Like yeah. I really like listen to lyrics and you know down there like we more beat driven, got we you, more yeah. like a vibe. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if it feel good, then we listen to how, how I feel first. Then Man, we listen, listen to, to the lyrics. lyrics. Yeah, your up here is more the lyrics first. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's shifting though to go towards. That feel good first, yeah, and yeah. then the lyrics. Yeah, because a lot of artists now, like the new artists from New York, mm. I can hear that vibe in them now. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like fresher and yeah, all yeah. the boys. You know, I be listening to all that. You know what I'm saying? The boys slide. Well, um, right now your career seems to just continue to grow and be bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. But when you were an unsigned artist, what was tough for you? I think the hardest part is just. Getting somebody to give you a listen, man. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the hardest thing because now I, I really in my heart feel like man, the only people that don't fuck with my music is people who never heard it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, man, I, it was a grind. Like, I used to like burn CDs, yeah, yeah. stand in front of corner stores, try to pass them out, stand at red lights, pass them out, man. And it, it be that hurt me. You, you try to get somebody a CD, and they like, nah, I'm good, I'm yeah, straight. Yeah. Or they take it and then you see them ride off and throw it out the window. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's that hurt. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely a grind. But then once I got one or two people to list, I used to stand outside all of the popping um, gas stations and Uh corner stores, wherever people was at, fleet markets, barbershops. And I post out there all day, man. I literally burn CDs one by one off my laptop and just burn them like a thousand CDs a day. I sit there all night burning them one by one. Writing on them, writing my phone number on them. That's crazy. And in the morning, I get up and then slide to whatever, pop in the gas station, whatever, and I post up all day. Man, people coming out the store, man, support my music, man. Yeah. Man, how much? Whatever you want to give me, a dollar, five dollars, whatever. Man, some people, I give you a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Some people try to give you a change. I'm like, man, I don't need it that bad. Just, <laughs> just, listen, just listen to the music, yeah, man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know what it is, what's discouraging sometimes about that? Because... Out here in New York, you got a lot of dudes that's out here. You can even see them outside right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have CDs, but and they'll get like the tourist or whatever to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they don't really care about the music that's yeah, on it. Yeah, and yeah. some of the CDs are just blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes yeah. people are like, oh, I don't really yeah, yeah, trust yeah, it. But yeah. that's dope. You really put in that work and work yeah, hard yeah. for it. And I, I'm more cared about the music than the money. You that, know what I'm saying? That's fun. one dude. Outside, we had a conversation, and I was like, yo, let me ask you a question. Do you care more about making the money off the tourists, or do you care about the important people getting your music heard? Yeah. Well, I don't want to say important people, but people that can help yeah, you yeah, in your yeah, career. Yeah. And he was like, that's a good question. I don't have an answer for that. And I was like, well, then I don't want to yeah, hear your music, yeah. bro. But I, I just I just <laughs> care about the people listening to the music. And the only reason that I, I, I was putting a, a price on it was because I feel like if you give me a dollar or five dollars for yeah. this CD, you're going to listen to it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus if I just give it to you, you're going to, okay, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna, yeah. yeah, but if you go in your pocket and give me five dollars, I feel like when you get in your car, you you'll give me a listen. Even some people that feel like, man, man, I ain't got it right now. Man, just yeah. just listen to it, man. You know what I'm so saying? It might, get to it might feel good to come from that to where you're at right now. It definitely feel good, man. But it's like me still being in the mud and still grinding it still like keep me level by, you know, by me being hot in some markets yeah, yeah. and still unknown in some other markets. So yeah, yeah. you go through 
the 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 journey of I go to this market, they treat me like ho, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Then I go over here, they don't know who the hell I'm yeah. is. So it's like you gotta it's have advantage. that balance. You can't yeah. get caught up in the hype, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, you go over here acting Hollywood with your glasses yeah, on. Yeah, and, and then you get gas in Yeah, man. they like, man, who the hell this nigga, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know, you gotta you gotta just keep your head down, don't watch the scoreboard, just keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? Nah, and you just dropped uh all gas, no brakes. Yeah, uh, part three. Part three, yeah. yeah. Now tell me a little bit about this uh man, project. This here like it is the best version of me, I think, man, because everything that people heard from me before this mm -hmm. was just me doing everything on my own. Like literally yeah. like recording in the bathroom, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Wow. Mixing all my own stuff. Grabbing beats off the internet, hustling, that's you know what crazy. I'm saying? That's crazy. So you engineered your own stuff. Yeah, I know how to mix. All that's that, crazy. You know what I'm so I taught myself all that. So like this is me. It was me just getting it out the mud, just pure yeah. talent. I never really been around no real producers, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like even like I got a little homeboy called, his name Ripper on the beat. Mm -hmm. That's my little homeboy who learned how to make beats to give me beats. Because that's I crazy. couldn't get beats for nobody. That's so fire. We both like basically was getting it out the mud. We didn't have no knowledge on the real proper way of doing things. Yeah, yeah. And you know, we didn't know about oh this type of mic and this program, yeah, this yeah. plug in, we were figuring it out. So now me being like signed, they put me in the studio with real producers and you know what I'm saying? They put me in the studio with real engineers and, and Do you still work equipment. with that producer? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. he got full beats on there. Okay. So you know, you know, we gonna keep it. You know, what I'm saying the crib. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Keep but, it a home team. Yeah. So it it was, it it was dope, man. You know, what I'm saying this project because you know I had some real production and real guidance. I never really had somebody to say, nah, you could do that better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. nah, I don't like that verse right there. Like I feel like, you know, did that affect you in the studio? At first, it was frustrating because yeah. I was so used to just doing you know, your shit. My own creative you space. Yeah. yeah. Like I. Ain't, I'm not, I wasn't used to having so many opinions, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, you know, I take it back to the hood. They say it's sly. I don't know what y'all talking about, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm glad they pushed me to push my pen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, be creative and push the envelope on this one. And, and this one more, like me, just I done seen so much more now, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You know, in the beginning, you know, I, my my subject matter was limited because I was just seeing what's going on in my neighborhood, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So now I don't I don't got out of my neighborhood. I'm traveling. I'm seeing stuff. I'm you know I got jewelry now. I got cars. I got you know what I'm saying different stuff that I can talk about and stuff that I'm seeing. My eyes is just open a little more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's dope. Yeah, it, when you yeah. get to travel, you start seeing more. There's more content to yeah, travel yeah. About. It's definitely reflecting in the music. I was listening uh, to the project and I heard a few beats that sound kind of like West Coast. Yeah, yeah. and. Your your flow on that shit is just crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a and big I, fan of that West Coast vibe. Yeah, and yeah. I heard one of your songs. You said all you ever wanted was a, a hook from Nate Dogg. Yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, for real, man, for real. It's like man, I really, I really like came up studying. Yeah, the, that's the, the that's game, dope because you know, you're from man. the south. You have influences from the West Coast, from East Coast, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Just dope. I just, I just like music. It's, it's dope I, that you're open to everything. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I just always, when I was growing up, I was just a fan. Of culture, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because you know, I, I I miss when the times was when when the rappers was like reporters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like where you can you can go anywhere in the world by just listening to music. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? You can close your eyes. I want to take a That's trip it. to I New never, Orleans. I never thought about it like it's that. It's real, man. You know, I want to go to New Orleans. I'm going to put the hot boys in, put Master P them yeah. in, you know what I'm saying? And they really, you can hear how they talk. Man, that's how they talk over there. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's how they dress with the soldieries and the bandanas, <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and they let you know what, what New Orleans was all about. You want to come to New York, back then you're going to listen to Puff and Mason, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? And Biggie and Lil' Kim and, you know, Eve and DMX, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And them boys... Giving you that real New York vibe, you yeah, know, from facts. from the glitz and glam to the gritty. You know what I'm saying? You seeing what New York is all about. You like, man, I wanna boy, them boys, you know, that's New York. You go to the West Coast, you gonna listen to Snoop and the Dog Pound and yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? They talk, you know, they yeah, the low riders and yeah. you know what I'm saying, the game banging and I mean that was real like the you know, West Coast vibes and I, I just miss that, you know. And now it's like with the internet, it's like everybody sound like everybody, you don't know where yeah, people man. from. They beat selection the same, but back then from the beats to the way people dress, how they talk, they yeah. slang, it was a representation of where they, they were from. from. 
That's ill. Yeah. That's a dope point that you yeah, brought up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never thought about like you close your eyes and y'all want to go travel, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, you hear about streets and you know what I'm saying, avenues and you know what I'm saying. I, I know Marcy Projects. This is my <laughs> second time, you know what I'm saying, in New York. Yeah. I never seen it, never, but I know I know it's real, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know Harlem where the hustlers be at, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Jim Jones and Cam, them, you know, I, I just, you know, I travel, man, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's just like, you know, like reading a book, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like people let their mind, like, just travel, you know what I'm saying? You can't lock my mind, you know, my, my body is in the projects, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm down bad financially. We trying to figure it out, but my mind... I could travel all over the world just listening to this music. That's L, you know man. 